the ITER project is uh, one of the most challenging energy project today in the world. Uh, it has never been done before in terms of governance, in terms of technology. Millions of parts of components will be delivered and assembled to, to the site. The, the, the systems are produced worldwide and um, project control challenges are about managing the changes. As well, uh, we are in a in, in kind of virt virtual team, so there are people working all over the globe. Primavera is like a, a, a GPS nav navigator. So first, uh, on the GPS, you would have to say, okay, this is uh, our target, how do we want to go there, what are our constraints, and then the navigator will calculate the, the plan. So this is what we did with Primavera, with planning the project. And then, as we are progressing and moving forward, we are constantly checking uh, where do we stand against uh, the, the plan? And is there an event? Is, there the, is the weather forecast changing? So do we have to take another route? And, and so uh, we have more and more options or solutions to um, try to accelerate, uh, to better define the scope of work and the, and the plan for the, for the coming, uh, coming years. Um, so, um, Primavera is um, this tool where we put all the maps inside. In the real world, if you take a map in, uh, in India or if you take a map in the US, you will not have the same legend, legend, you will not have the same meanings for the colors and so on. But in Primavera, when we put all of this together in Primavera, uh, it all gets cleared for everybody. It's, we are all using the same vocabulary and so it's something that we can look in several dimensions, uh, depending on the structures that we use, and then we codify all the activities within this puzzle so that we can look from a work breakdown structure perspective, or we can look at it from an organizational perspective. And Primavera helps us a lot to do all of this, to, uh, to look at the schedule from different perspectives and to compare to what was the initial plan.